sometime today, seven million people will take off their working clothes, put on night attire, go into a dark room, and then unconsciousness. And they cannot wake themselves, but somehow or other, the body comes to wakefulness and they awake to a new life, a new day. It's not hard to see, my friends, that every 24 hours we have this parable of life itself, living conscious existence, then unconsciousness, and then resurrection to a new life on the next morning. This truth about resurrection is taught in nature in a thousand ways. A trillion seeds every day die in the ground, the outer cover falls off, but new life springs forth, resurrection life with every seed. Every day our sun dies, disappears in the west, but it rises again in the morning to what seems like resurrection life. The moon does similarly. By the end of each month, it can dwindle to a mere slither, but then it's born again, a whole new moon in God's good time to tell us about the resurrection. Dear friends, tonight when you go to bed, realize you are acting out existence itself. Remember that in the morning, when you wake to a new life, with new health, new strength, new vigour, new energy, you are setting forth a parable of resurrection morning. There are many, many intelligent atheists who've been put off Christianity by Christians themselves who have not reflected their saviour. But I would invite them to consider this parable of nature because they acted out every 24 hours their body every 24 hours reminds them of life, death and resurrection.